All right, here's part two. Uh, this time, it's the body. So I've cut the body out, and I've got it rested as much as I can. On the front ones, there are no pins. It's, just, it's literally just resting on the bottom of the body posts. Unlike these ones, which there are some pins to hold it up. Uh, this one, because the bonnet, presumably, is so low, there's just no pins under there. And instead, I've had to use three of these just to push it up to get it to a comfortable place. Like that. It looks a bit high, but like that, it looks level now. Or level ish. So, yeah. Maybe. So it looks level. From there to there. Um, so yeah, I've had to put three on each side of these little uh, foam body mounts. Uh, just for it to sit properly. But other than that, it looks fine. So yeah, I've sanded it all down. I do, I do need to clean it and I uh, put the window masks on, which I have cut out. I didn't do a very good job with the rear splitter, or diffuser, or whatever it is. That didn't go very well, uh, somehow. Um, oh, the camera's wigging out. Yeah, I somehow, despite the fact that it's a straight line, somehow managed to foobar it. Well, not quite foobar it, but... Yeah, it didn't go very well. <laughs> Some nicks in there. Uh, but the other places went well. So the front end is uh, okay. And obviously the wheel arches were already cut out. So, <coughs> yeah. Uh, I've got the wing mirrors ready to paint, which I thankfully I already had a pot of yellow, lemon yellow paint. Um, I've got to buy some of that. But thankfully I still have a pot left over from when I painted the escorts mirror. That's all. I, that's the only reason why I bought that pot. It's just to paint one mirror from that escort pilot. Uh, so yeah, uh, I've got the mirrors in there attached to a helping hand. The, the sort of um, crocodile clip clamp things uh, and then I'll hand paint them uh, I did have some yellow paint like spray paint but that doesn't quite look like a match so I'll use lemon yellow like it says in the manual and yeah we'll give it a bit of a paint and we'll see how it looks and obviously I'll give this a clean window masks I'll uh, put the first base layer of white down and we'll go from there this might take a day or two. I don't know if I'm going to get this finished today. The paint, at least. Um, so, we'll see. This might be a two-day thing. So, yeah. Right. Well, I shall leave it there, and uh, I'll come back for the next part. So, see you in a little bit. Right. Body shell has been masked up and cleaned. Just there. I hope these are on okay. Uh, you are supposed to mask off this bit because it's going to be black. Uh, but I'm going to try something different. Once I've painted the inside, I'm going to cut this out, hopefully, the plastic film on the outside, and then spray paint this black on the outside. <laughs> I've never done that before, so I might end up ruining it, but it seems to be possibly quicker and easier than masking off. I mean, I've already tried it. It's a bit fidgety trying to get into all these nooks and crannies. So I'm going to paint the inside. I've only got one can of black, so hopefully I won't use too much black to, to back it with. And I'll still have enough black here, otherwise I'll have to buy another can. Uh, so, yeah. Ugh, ugh. There you go. So, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that. Plus it'll give it a sort of a plasticky look. Uh, rather than a sort of a metallic look. Or metal look. It'll make it look plastic. Which I'm sure splitters usually are. Or diffusers. So. Yeah. And in there are the wing mirrors. Ready to be hand painted. With the lemon yellow. So yeah. Let's uh, get on and get some of this, uh, this painting done shall we. Right, uh, these are the wing mirrors painted up in lemon yellow. 
I, d I hate hand painting because they never turn out as smooth as spray painting. Uh, they look a lot darker in person. Uh, but yeah, it's very awkward to paint these. And even though they do dry reasonably smooth, there's always there's some lumps in it that you can never seem to sort of get out. Kind of annoying. I, I could have spray painted them, I could have just sprayed them with some Tamiya Fine Primer and sprayed them yellow, but eh, I don't know. Mm. Oh well. Uh, I suppose they might, they should be okay. Don't know whether or not to give them at least one more coat, but. Eh. Oh well. But yeah, that's those done. So uh, I haven't started the body yet, which is kind of annoying. And it's getting on a bit. So I might have to start them on Saturday tomorrow. So <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's the wing mirrors done, so the next segment, hopefully, will be the start of the body. So, I'll see you in that bit. Alright, so here's the next bit. Um, I got a little bit ahead of myself. Um, it's been painted, I've pulled the um, plastic sheet, or the, you know, the protective film off. It wasn't as satisfying as most of them, because at the rear, it just kind of broke apart. It wasn't like a satisfying peel, like all the way off. When it got to the rear end, it just kind of crumbled into nothing for some strange reason. I don't know why. Um, so, yeah. Um, it didn't go too badly, but um, I can tell you one thing. I will not be using smoke paint again, even if my life depended on it. I used smoke paint for the windows. I've used it on like nine different vehicles at the moment. Like, half of these all have smoke paint in them and the last few times I've used it on my Super Avanti and a McLaren Senna it went fine um, I mean I've often had problems with smoke paint sometimes like it just doesn't work properly but you know I, I heated it up and I put it in the front room where there's a fire going so it's nice and warm shook it to high heaven um, did even you know I didn't like leave it in one place for too long I was like constantly moving and for all intents and purposes, it looked fine. Um, but when I brought it in and looked through it, um, not that you can see it anymore because I've blacked out the windows, it, it was very, it, the rear, the half of the rear window was just like all blotchy. Almost as if something on the polycarbonate was repelling the smoke paint. And it all just looked like it was all blotchy. You know, like when you drop ink into, onto like a wet tissue and it kind of does that weird pattern effect. Is kind of like that in a weird way, um, and yeah, it, it just completely ruined the the rear window. Like it was so obvious, it just looked rubbish. So I thought, Ugh, no, I can't have that. So I, I blacked out the windows because I, you know, couldn't really do anything else. Um, and unfortunately, it has left a lasting effect even on the front window. I don't know where, what the feck did that. And I've also got a load of specs there as well which won't come off so for all intents and purposes this body is not looking as nice as I was hoping it would um, even just little things like this and this make it look terrible and not as good again this is all the smoke paint I think it was just like this weirdly repelling the, the, the polycarbonate was repelling the smoke paint never had that problem before of all the problems I've had with smoke paint, not that. Uh, the only thing that seems to have gone reasonably well uh, was the rear end, which, after I'd painted everything, I cut the protective film around the edges, and then peeled off this bit, and then painted it. And that seems to have come out okay. There was a bit of a piss up there. Um, but other than that, oh, and I've also put some carbon fiber sticker down there. I don't know how long that's going to stay on there for because it might come off. It's not a very good sticker this is. Um, and yeah, you can kind of see where the white paint didn't fill very well and you can actually kind of see the silver paint. So yeah, all in all, not great. Um, some uh, obviously some 
paint bleeding under there, which I tried to use polycarbonate paint remover with, but as you can see, it didn't really do much. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so I just need to get on and do obviously do the stickers and whatnot. So, I've got nothing that can really cover these up. So, I might try and use like a Sharpie or something and just sort of dot the Sharpies on the front and see if that helps. Um, although you can't see it now, because... I've actually had to put some black tape underneath, but where the the smoke paint was being repelled, after I sprayed it with black, it just left like one massive transparent gap in in the rear window. Yeah, it kind of looked like this, but it was like you know it was part of the the window. It, like it, it was just it just looked so ugly and so terrible. Um, that the only thing I was able to do was to basically just put two bits of tape underneath, which has basically kind of melded them in. So you can't really see it, thankfully. So yeah, um, that was the next part. So <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'll just go on. I've cut some of the stickers out, so we get on and put the stickers on and uh, we'll see how we get on with that shall we uh, but for now I'm actually gonna go and get some lunch so uh, see you in the next segment for you will be a few seconds for me well god knows how long um, uh, uh, yeah see you in a bit okay um, another update to this it's taking a lot longer than I expected uh, because these stickers got a bit ruined so a uh, few of them ripped and didn't go on very well uh, that sticker there on the other side ripped and this sticker here which although seemingly went on quite well when you hold it into the the light it got a load of something under it uh, either dirt or air, I don't know. But it kind of ruined the overall good, you know, intro good, nice look of the stickers. Everything else has gone on okay. Um, and the reason why it's taking me so long is because I had to buy some more. Uh, so, yeah, I had to wait for these to arrive. Um, they took several days. I don't need all of them, obviously. Uh, but I am going to need the majority of them. So quite annoying but yeah it was actually these ones that I needed to, to replace and uh, these ones and though you can't actually see it because they're behind there those obviously those big ones so hopefully they go on just as nice because I did reasonably well <clears throat> though this one eh, not quite as well I had to use the uh, a, a lighter on that to sort of get it to stick and I've noticed that even though I think these are in the right spot and the window masks, I think I put them in the right spot, the sticker that goes along there, it doesn't fit. It, it does actually leave a white line because this, this gap is too big. So, <clears throat> and this sticker here is also too small because, again, I think I might have put the window masks too far apart so this sticker does not actually cover the white so what I'm gonna use is the other one of them on here to put it next to it and hope that I can do it that way hopefully we'll see we'll see how that works but yeah I'm gonna get on and cut the um, new ones up excuse me and <clears throat> hopefully get this bit finished so yeah wish me luck on that and I don't do it wrong a second time and fingers crossed, and toes crossed. I can't cross my toes, but there we go. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that now, and we'll come back with a new update. So, see you in a few seconds. Right, finally, after much time has passed, I finally finished the body shell. After having to buy a new set of stickers, that was one of the reasons why I had to wait. I had to wait two days, three days, or something, for them to arrive. I really wish I had some before photos of what this looked like compared to now because now it actually like looks proper whereas before it was definitely a bit shite but yeah now the body shell is now finished 
and it looks the way it's supposed to. So yeah, that's all now is nice and smooth. I tried to pick out some panel lines. Uh, I don't like this bit here though. I think the panel line's too close to the this bit here. Kind of looks messy, but uh, might be able to put some panel lines up there maybe. There's the boot or the back end. I also replaced these as well because these didn't go on very well either. So I replaced those two. Uh, there's the rear diffuser, or whatever you might want to call it, which I painted on the outside, which is actually a lot shinier than I thought it would be. But yeah, I will say, somehow, <laughs> this took a while, was to cut out some carbon fiber effect vinyl just to kind of stick it in there. I don't know why, I just did it. Uh, tell me your stickers on the wing that you don't need. Uh, using the second sticker sheet, I put those two extra bits there, like they are there. That's just kind of to cover up the uh, the joins between this sticker and this sticker. Yeah, it's just there. I, I, I thought, why not? Uh, I had to improvise a bit with hit this. Um, not that you can really see it too much, but the gap between the bottom of the window and this sticker was too big for this stick it along here. Hang on, I won't focus. Focus. Oh, I see. The, the touch screen has now stopped working, so I can't force an autofocus. <laughs> or force a manual focus. Hold on. Nope. Hang on, but can I force a focus? <clears throat> Hang on, I'm going to stop the recording so I can start again and get the screen working again. Oh, God damn it. There we go. Uh, I couldn't even stop the recording, so I had to turn the screen off. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I had to improvise. Let me get some, let's try and get some light on there. Uh, basically, yeah, the gap between the bottom of the window and this decal here was too big. So these window strips didn't fit properly, at least here. There was a big gap. So what I did was I had to use the other sticker sheet, cut this sticker in half to there, and then stuck that underneath. So basically, there's there's two of these stickers under here. And it's kind of the same thing with this as well. I think I made the gap too big between these two uh, masking stickers. So there's a big white gap here. So when you put this decal on, you just see the white on either side. So I basically used both of these stickers from both, um, both decal sheets. Which, again, you can't really see because it, it does blend in quite well. Um, so I was lucky to have those that second sticker sheet because otherwise... if I, I kind of want to get another one of these body shells, but the cliff one. But I want to paint it like a road car. So I'll still obviously use the same wing mirrors, the same spoiler. And just use the normal... Uh, the normal stickers to make it look like a road car. I'll have to use the Phillips or you know whatever sticker is up here. Um, but everything else will be like a road car, hopefully. Uh, and so what I'll do is I'll join, the, when I put these stickers on, the masking stickers for the windows, I'll join the windows together. So this is basically just one long transparent piece of polycarbonate. So that way, when I put the black sticker on, it should be fine. I don't know why I didn't think of doing that, but there you go. So, yeah. So all the front stickers there were replaced. Nothing on this side was replaced. So, <clears throat> I might actually remove these panel lines. I, I don't know, there's just something about them. They look a bit odd. So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, and I just kind of stuck that race pace bearing sticker on the back, just because. Um, but yeah, I kind of actually, looking at this, I really do want to get that cliff. <laughs> so, <laughs> um... Hey, I tell you what, if anyone actually has an unpainted cliff body with the, the decals and window masks, uh, let me know. Um, so I, I, I'll get one and I'll probably do a video about that and show what it looks like as a, a road car. I might paint, I don't know what color to paint it though. I'm, I'm thinking either yellow or metallic purple. I'm not going for metallic purple, that might look quite nice. 
Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, there we go. There's the window wiper. I don't know why these ones come with window wipers, but other cars don't. It's kind of strange. So yeah. Uh, in the end, though, thankfully, it turned out quite well. <laughs> it, it could have been a disaster. Uh, so, like I said, I really wish I had a before photo of what this looked like because it was terrible. And the opal sticker went on surprisingly well, the big sticker. I could have actually just cut the opal out and the logo out, but you can see that they're both joined. So that was, a, I made it harder for myself, <laughs> but it seemed to have worked. So, yeah. Anyway, um, that's it, I think. That's it for the body. Um... There we go. I, I shall make. I shall not make a uh, a third video, or technically a fourth video, um, of it on the chassis. So I'm going to stop this recording here and get that ready, and uh, yeah, and go from there. And there we go. Finally, I can't even remember when I bleed and uploaded the video about the unboxing, and then the video about the chassis. It just feels like it's been like a week or more. Anyway, I'm going to stop the recording and uh, yeah, we'll get the next or probably even the last video up and running. So see you in a bit.